This is Moscow's Hippodrome, the Soviet Union's oldest and most historic racetrack. It has been the central point of Russian trotting for a century, and it is from there that the Soviet invasion of North American tracks began. Roger Houston reports on this international event from the Meadows near Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Yes, the Russians are coming. The Russians are coming as Glasnost goes to post. A contingent of five, four of the top drivers in the USSR, along with K.V. Dosyev, the director of the Moscow Hippodrome, and without question, the most powerful figure in Eastern Bloc racing, embarked on a tour of eight tracks in the U.S. and Canada to do battle with their North American counterparts. It did take them until their third confrontation, that the seventh race overall before Russian victory was proclaimed. However, in the eighth race of the series, top driver Vitaly Tenenishin not only won again, but did it in grand style, setting a world record on the flying turns of Northfield Park. All around the turn, they're flying home and on top. Tunisian's got Lake Water Glory in gear by two. Trying to overhaul him now. Here comes Lorianov with Ludwig and along the rail, trying to close on the leaders as a Dwyer and Independent Blaze. They're in the stretch and a drive to the wire. And picking them up and putting them down. Lake Water Glory with Vitaly Tunisian at the controls, trying to make it up. Lorianov with Ludwig, but it's Vitaly Tunisian and Lake Water Glory on top. In 157 and four, the fastest trotting mile of 1989. And here at Ladbroke at the Meadows, the final stage for the Soviet Touring Troop. After a slow start at Yonkers and Brandywine racetracks, the Russian drivers have become more accustomed to the American style of racing. In the last five stops, they have picked up nine wins. Their totals for the first seven stops show nine victories in 33 drives. However, in the point totals at each track, they have only the one victory at Northfield. Here at the Meadows, they will compete in three races tonight. It is evident that the Soviet delegation is looking ahead to the return to their homeland. You've been in the States now for almost three weeks. Are you anxious to get home? Yeah, of course they want to go home. They miss their family, their friends, their wives, and their children. In the first battle, the Russians were troubled by breaking horses, as Lewis Keith won with G.R. Almahurst. The Russians finished third, fourth, seventh, and eighth. In the second race, it was a different story, as Alexander Larionov took the Overland route to victory with Von Bambino on the sloppy track. Coming home, Von Bambino and Dreamy score to the wire, a team, and here they are! The third event with Pacers resulted in the disqualification of Andrei Lepopnikov for interference at the top of the stretch. However, the Russians still got the victory as Alexander Larinov was placed the winner with Bebop Deluxe. Down the stretch they come! Bebop Deluxe and Alexander Larinov on the outside. Brew and Jason Miller Jr. closing ground. Victory and Andrei Lepopnikov coming home. It's victory and Andrei! As in the past stops, the Russians came up short to their American counterparts, 81 to 57 and a half. However, they won their share of races, 11 of 36 overall. The one thing that was evident throughout the tour was a true love for the sport of harness racing, regardless of the language spoken. This is Roger Houston, Harness Racing 89. Racing is indeed an international language, and so are entertainment and good times. Following their racing engagement at the Meadows, the Russian drivers got a taste of some down-home American hospitality when Pennsylvania owner and breeder Robert Keyes entertained them at his farm. There was home cooking and friendly conversation, racing talk, and relaxation. I'll tell you what, I'm going to try hard to go over there. They've invited me over, and I'll tell you, if I have to pay my own way, if I have a good horse that I can go over there, I'd go over there just to race at the Hippodrome. I, I just enjoy it. I, I really do. And uh, it's something I never dreamed to do in my life. You know, here we have a small farm out in the middle of Pennsylvania, and who thinks you'd be entertaining five Russians, OK? <laughs> I'd sure rather entertain them and fight them, I'll tell you that. 